YouTube, Backyard Barbecue is Barbecue X. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And I'll give y'all an update on what's going on with me, man, and what, what I got going on uh, currently and in the near future. Uh, starters. Got a box in the mail, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up while I'm talking to y'all about what's going on. Uh, if y'all... All my loyal subscribers, uh, if you remember, I had a a, a, a stand that was uh, kind of broken, and it barely hold on. Actually, I'm using it now, so thankful to say this is my last time using this El Cheapo camera stand. So, needless to say, I ordered me a new one. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we're going to see what it looks like, y'all. Uh, always try to improve, man, to get y'all better quality. Uh... On that note, I'm talking about the GoPro. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. The GoPro, I am, I don't skateboard, I don't ski, I don't ride bicycles, motorcycles. So, honestly speaking, I don't think the GoPro uh, was meant for me. The reason why I say that is, uh, uh, I uploaded a video, I think I was on a cook at Azalea Ridge. For about a hundred, actually two hundred people, about two hundred people showed up, and um, and I put the video up just to see what you guys would think about it. Uh, awesome video quality, 4K. Um, however, the audio suck. The audio, I don't think it's meant for audio. I think it's meant for you to mute the audio and just show people the experience of you riding around or driving in and out of traffic or whatever it is you do. But that's something they need to fix, in the, uh, at least in the session version that I had. The audio was choppy at best because of the wind blowing. Uh, if in perfect conditions, you know, it probably would have did okay. Problem with me is, when you're doing barbecue, it's hard to stop what you're doing and look for a secondary item like a, a GoPro. I think I had it on a stick too so I could hold it up and, you know, as I talk. It was painful because I couldn't even see the screen, so I didn't know if I was recording. Problem with that is... I want to give you guys the best quality, the best content I have. So when I hit record, I like to know that I'm actually recording. You know what I mean? So the problem with that was a couple times I was hit record, especially at the, uh, 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 the cook, and didn't know if I was recording or not. So some of the content didn't get recorded. So sorry about that, but we fixed that. So what I did was I made the GoPro disappear. Hold up before you say anything. I'm going to tell you why. Alright, so I just came back from Pensacola. Obviously, you know I'm in the Navy. Uh, and uh, was down there doing some good things, writing exams and stuff like that. Pretty cool thing for advancement for the guys in the Navy. Uh, pretty cool deal. But anyway, that's another story. Uh, so I was with one of my uh, fellow co-workers and we went in the mall. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, man, I'm not sitting here waiting on you to buy whatever it is you're going to buy. So let me just go look at Verizon. Had no clue about the new iPhone X coming out. Um, yeah. Needless to say, guess what your boy got? Yes, sir. iPhone X. So, uh, in my original videos, I was recording all my videos where I first started out with the iTouch, uh, which is actually what I'm recording with right now. So, I'm going to switch over. Uh, once I show you the iPhone, I'm going to switch over and show you the difference in quality between the two. But the iPhone X, needless to say, shows uh, uh, does record at 4K quality. So, we're going to switch up after I show you all uh, this stand. Uh, actually, i probably just show you all that in 4K, man, so you can see how detailed. This thing is crazy, man. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a tech whiz or whatever. I love gadgets. But it was easy... Everybody carry their cell phone around, let's be honest. Right? So when I'm barbecuing, I always keep my cell phone with me. So it was easy for me to shoot videos for you guys. Plus I can see myself recording, know that the button's recording and see the time on that. So for me, that's a win win, knowing that I'm giving you the actual quality that uh uh I think you guys deserve. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the uh iPhone, which is right here. Got the case and everything. Awesome. And we're going to see, so you can see the difference as I talk. So stay tuned. Be back in a minute, y'all. What's up, guys? We back. 
and I am shooting right now with the 4K iPhone X, right? So I'm gonna tell you the way I got it set up. Right now it's currently facing me so I can actually see myself as I'm talking to you guys. So I'm not actually using a rear view camera, which is I think 12, 12 megapixels, whatever. Regardless, they tell me it shoots in 4K. So as I'm looking at it right now, it's crystal clear. So y'all can probably see the gray hairs on my face. Anyway, let me go ahead and show y'all what I got going on, right? So I got this little handy uh, thingamajig. It's the whole cell phones, right? It goes on top of the the, uh, the stand itself and uh, allows me to shoot these videos without my phone just falling on the ground. Anyway, and this big old box just to ship this, but yeah. Anyway, this is my doggone stand. So, amazing ironically so yeah that's how i got rid of the gopro y'all i wanted to give you guys 4k quality and i was actually thinking about purchasing a camera but i thought about it when i shoot videos majority of the time guess what i always have on me a cell phone so why not continue to do that that way i don't have to worry about oh snap did i leave it did i bring it etc and i hate to uh want to shoot video like i think i did a video about me at home depot I wouldn't have had my GoPro with me. I wouldn't have had a, a little side camera with me. That's just not me. So figured I might as well pay the money that I was going to pay on a camera anyway to get you something that I'm going to carry with me all the time. So if I see something on the spot or I run up on somebody, I can record it and show you guys what my experience and what I'm going through. So without further ado, I'm going to continue to open this as I talk. And I'm gonna tell you what I got coming up this weekend, y'all. I'm a, uh, I will cook a turkey for you guys. I know if the uh, the Florida Georgia game, y'all saw me cooking three turkeys, me and uh, my main man Smitty, and the rest of the crew. But uh, what I didn't do is show you how we, how we uh brine it, show you how we we didn't eject that one, uh, but show you like the process. So for those of you cooking for Thanksgiving. Uh, stay tuned this weekend. I should be uploading a video. I think Smitty just texted me right before I uh, hit record on this to uh, do this. That he'll be over Sunday. And I just bought a turkey. It's frozen. So, even better, I'm going to show you how to brine it. So, you don't have to worry about it being thawed out. We'll go through that process. I'll shoot that video here shortly. And I'm going to upload it this weekend. Hopefully, Sunday. That's my goal for you guys. Look at this, man. This is heavy duty. This thing is heavy duty. No legs broken on it. Uh, the whole nine. I mean, I'll figure it out. Some way or another. And anyway, we'll figure it out. So, I got a new stand. It stands about 60 inches, which is better than the little 40 inch one I got that I'm actually recording on now. Uh, and it looks, I ain't gonna say heavy duty, but it's made of aluminum. So, we'll see if it works. And I'll let you guys know. So yeah, I'm gonna be shooting the turkey, like I said. A turkey and a ham. He actually just hit me up and told me doing a ham too. So we're gonna show y'all that whole process, man. So y'all can get prepared for Thanksgiving. If, hey y'all, before I go, I want y'all to see this broke down, broke down camera stand. All right, first off, yeah. I don't think this is supposed to just come off like this. Come off like this. Yeah, it's broken. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, well, I just broke it some more. Uh, but yeah, this part here that should be screwed into here is still on here. So what I've been doing is just sitting it on there, hoping that my dog's gonna walk by and knock it down. Uh, wasn't too bad, too shabby. But I want you to see the legs on this dang thing. Look at this. See that leg? Look at that. And if I bend it, flimsy. Anyway, needless to say, I wanted to get you guys the best quality possible. So this is now going to the trash. So if you're in Jacksonville and you ride by my house this weekend, it'll be out by the road. Anyway, Figured I'd give y'all a look at it before it uh before I dispose of it, so you can see what I was recording with, and uh and my new stand man, my new stand is off the chain, looks professional, looks sturdy, 
And believe it or not, I only paid a few more dollars for it. So, can't complain. I'm happy. And uh, let's get to it, y'all. Hope y'all enjoying your weekend. Like I said, it's Friday for me. An off day, so you know I'm enjoying it. And I'm doing what I love to do is mess around barbecue and all the stuff that come with it. So uh, stay tuned. Turkey time, y'all. Go, go. So there you have it, y'all. Uh, just want to give you a quick update, short and sweet, sweet and simple, to the point. Stay tuned, y'all. Like I said, this is, what's the day? Friday? I'm off today. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be doing this cook on Sunday. Uh, I'll go through the process. Obviously, I'm going to be recording today as I do the brine and stuff like that. Uh, it's a frozen turkey, so it's probably going to take a day and a half to thaw out and uh, soak up all the uh, ingredients that I'm going to put in there. I'll talk about that on the next video. And then we're going to go from there, y'all. So stay tuned. Uh, keep watching these videos. And I'm going to keep giving you this awesome content. Keep buying gadgets. Like I said, uh, the eye touch. Uh, had to pull it out. Wasn't even charged up. Had to wait like 15 minutes just to get enough charge to show you the difference in the quality. Hey, comment below, man. Tell me if you like this 4K quality, man. If you can tell the difference between the two. So this is your boy signing off. Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. See you this weekend with that turkey and ham, y'all. Holla. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Holla at your boy.